Okay, I'm sorry. It's a priest deck, and I actually like it. Okay, y you got it out of me. I'm sorry. I'm, I know. I'm sorry. Say what you want about priest archetypes, but at least this deck actually fights for the board. But then again, it's got a time warp, so it is still kind of a problem. Before I show you guys today's deck list, I want to give a certain shout out to somebody within this community that has been very, very vocal about how much they really wanted a Zerimi priest deck video. This guy has been asking for five days in a row on top of multiple videos because we've been posting more than one video a day recently if you haven't noticed make sure to check out that content but yeah this is just me giving a shout out to this guy for really wanting a deck so bad that he's willing to comment on it a bunch to the point where i was already going to be making a deck guide about this anyway but the whole reason why i waited to properly play this deck is because the versions of zarimi priest that i have been seeing are not decks that i really enjoy until now habu gabu absolutely nailed it out of the park with this perfect 30 in my opinion of zarimi priest that he played at the masters tour and ended up going top four in the tournament and the reason why i believe this deck actually might have some place on ladder is because this deck is geared and teched specifically against the meta decks and i realize that this deck has some forge mechanics which are very very important to talk about but the first card that i need to talk about is the razor scale because the main reason why this card is in the deck is because think of all the zero mana opportunities and all the zero mana combos that are playable throughout all the uh, the top legend ranks right now you have nature shaman you have zarimi priest you even have like some warrior cards like safety goggles as well as like garrosh gift that you can hit in a very meaningful way and to increase your thresholds of being able to stick a board for longer periods of time depending on what turn it is because case in point with the uh, with the garrosh gift if you have this on the field and it's turn six suddenly they don't have garrosh gift into brawl as legitimate clear so there are some very real ways of being able to utilize the razor scale but mostly it's to it's to screw over shaman you want to screw over shaman and this is like an instant win card if you happen to play this going into their flash turn because there's just nothing that they can do with two mana cards that are supposed to be zero but the other cards that are very important to talk about in this deck that really do flesh out this list in my opinion is the glowstone gyreworm as well as the ignis giving this deck a little bit of extra bits of gas sometimes that are needed in order to sustain into the late game and then pressure uh, in, in another different way because one of my favorite ways of being able to win with this deck in particular is to do the zarimi combo have a boar that has a ton of damage and then just you know play a glowstone to the face for an extra five bit of damage so that way you only need about 25 damage on the field which is very easy to accomplish with a deck like this because previously people were just playing glacial shards and they were playing a bunch of like one mana cards in order to get like more value from pip or something like that and it's just like i don't know what it, what it was about this about these lists that really just didn't sit well with me but it just felt like an all or nothing aggro deck that really couldn't sustain itself and that is absolutely why i love the glowstone because not only is it good for a damage burst combo it's also lifesteal so like this for example going up against window shopper is perfect it's an absolutely perfect answer if you are envisioning the the minion coming down especially if your opponent plays the weapon you know the shopper is going to be there it is being telegraphed so if they play the weapon you can easily forge this card and have it set up for that six five coming down that next turn but yeah this deck is really powerful because the whole point of this deck is just to make copies with pip on your one mana cards with like your clergy your funnel cake and your dragons there are plenty of dragons uh, that you can make copies of with cards like celestial projectionist power cord synchronized is a great way of utilizing extra copies as well as your pip so you have plenty of ways of being able to duplicate and copy your cards but the real power of this deck comes from the consistency of being able to draw your zarimi with scale replica so the cards that i would usually try to keep in my mulligan are going to be a one drop a gold panner i almost keep every single time scale replica you always want to keep the rope wrangler especially on coin this is probably the best turn one that you can possibly make is coining out this 2-3, and if it sticks for two turns, you pretty much have completed the Zerimi effect. And I am going to go on record in this video right now that I am pretty confident that this card is going to get nerfed one way or another, but all they're going to do is make this 6. They're just going to make it to 6 cards, and honestly, that will be somewhat of an impactful nerf if they decide to do that, at least in standard, because the reason why turn 5 Zerimi is usually not the go-to play is because you don't have enough dragons, but you also don't don't have enough tempo but there are some situations to where you stick a board against a deck you absolutely can't deal with it and then zarini can come down on five and absolutely solo the game so if they're going to change this card i feel like they're going to start with the amount of dragons that you have to summon because five can sometimes be a very awkward number but with this deck in particular it feels like you don't have enough dragons and you really have to struggle to get that five or you have plenty of enough dragons to get there so maybe putting this card to six mana might make it a little bit more weak than 
suddenly you have more consistency off of the the draw card with the scale replica in case we want to put like a five mana dragon not saying that's going to make an impact right now but there could be a card later on that might be a little bit consistent in rewarding Zerimi going to six because if there's a five mana dragon we really want to put into this deck it would get in the way of that consistently drawing your win condition of the Zerimi so there is a little bit to talk about whenever we think about bumping up the mana cost of this card but we really can't analyze this until we see the mini set cards that Blizzard has in mind but like I said if you're wanting to play Zerimi Priest and you haven't been enjoying or liking the list that you've seen so far I really do believe this is the best version of this deck to sell people on this list in particular I have been playing a lot of priests I have played about 65 games with this deck and I've gone from rank 4000 to 818 the rank that you see right now and yes I do not care about my ranks yes I'm mostly just playing decks that I'm having fun with but I definitely wanted to showcase the power of this deck because if you are someone that's trying to legitimately grind and climb throughout the legend ladder then this is a very legitimate deck that you can take as well all the way up to legend because I had a lot of success with this deck and I'm not kidding when I tell you that glowstone really does give you a lot of sustaining power and is probably the main reason why I won a lot of these games so if you're looking for a good priest deck that actually feels fun to play and will excite you more to play more hearthstone then I would highly recommend Habu's version of forge Zerimi priest and don't forget if you do enjoy this kind of concept feel free to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel check out the patreon if you want to support the content extra ways getting coaching and deck optimizations and shout outs and yada 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 let's get into the dragon priest games because I'm actually excited for sharing a priest deck for one time and well there's one other priest deck I'm actually excited about, so maybe, maybe this class is somewhat redeemable. But thank you so much for making it to the end of this deck intro, and we'll see you in the next video. I had a conversation with Zeddy, and Zeddy is such a, uh, such a movie buff. I felt like, I felt like a child trying to have a conversation with his dad about a conversation, about a topic he had no idea about. Like, oh, jeez. <laughs> no, we don't keep the drifter here. Clara plays priest? Yes. Clara is actually my daughter, if you guys didn't know. Oh, really? Yo, Master Sword Champion coming in with a raid. What's going on, guys? We're playing some Habu Priest. Okay, so I think we always coin the Wrangler here. So that way I can play Whelp. And then I can play this, and then I can double the buffed Whelp. It's not really that great, but I gotta fight for board against this deck. Yo, dude, how'd the stream go? Did you win? You won a lot today, right, son? If you if you didn't win, then your mom and I are going to be wondering why you spend so much time on this digital card game. Your mom and I just want to talk with you again. We miss you. We hope you're doing okay, though. <laughs> I love making that joke. It's so stupid, but I love it. Okay, uh, the issue with playing this is that I have a lot of one drops now. Was it not supposed to be coin whelp? Was it actually supposed to be coin pip instead? Maybe it was supposed to be coin pip. I think we just tempo king it. It sucks not to get copies from Pip, but it's like, I need to, uh, I, I don't have the hand space for it. If like, I would have to do this and clunk up my hand, I still don't have a Pip play anyway. And isn't it just better to go for tempo plays here? Technically I allow him to draw on this turn. That's kind of bad. This deck is supposed to be good against Zerimi Priest though. Wait. Hitting face is actually incorrect. Oh my god, I see it now. Because I'm not killing him in two turns. I'm killing him in three turns. Gonna dip right now. I'm in a dire need of some sleep and have a great stream. Uh, great stream, bro. It's a, uh, it's really coming a full soaker moment. Watch you enjoy, Priest. It is what it is, right? I will, um, I will be streaming tomorrow for the Masters Tour. So we'll see you tomorrow, mate. Oh, this is weird. I hate not going face. So Razor, dude, Razor Scale actually might fucking carry. Yeah? Oh no. Oh no, maybe maybe we waited too long. I think we win. I wonder. We just play the two dragons. Do the five and then forge face. I can't play Zerimi yet. Done. Okay. Yeah, so Zerimi into Worm does end it. If he doesn't do any healing, that is. I did some winning uh, today, Dad. Hope you had a good stream. Good job, son. We're, we're glad that the digital card game is making you happy. 
<laughs> your your mom your mom wants to send cookies. Please call her. <laughs> I think that's GG. The worm just makes so much sense in this deck, and adding in the the Ignis really does kind of give this deck another win condition. Pop guard time. Pop guard would have gone hard. Shit. Wait. That's not enough though. Eight. Oh my god, it's not enough. Oh my god, it's actually one damage off. <sighs> Wait. Oh my god, his placement is so good. But it doesn't matter. Because I can just funnel kick next turn instead. Oh! Wait, what? Oh, did I miss? Oh, it's five, not four. Oh, shit. Wait. Duh. Duh. Okay. Sorry, guys. I was thinking of, of the four attack, not the five. <laughs> I still did more damage, though. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, YouTube. Dude, this is the first time anyone sent me a YouTube music link. What? <laughs> One... Make another cop. Yeah, we should just get rid of the drifter. So, Gen X Cops Vampire Weekend. So, I'm supposed to hold on to this, right? I hold on to this because making a 2 4 isn't worth it, but making copies of the one drop is. Okay, so this isn't the whole album, is it? Okay, no, it's just the one song. Yeah, I feel like I'm not supposed to tempo the 1 2 here. It just feels wrong. Right, because we want we want to copy it not only with the pip, but we also like want to play them together, right? I think we always do this because we can just play this later. It's better to start compounding these dragons. Demon hunter is getting nerfed, so maybe the meta will be better. I mean, I don't know, man. What if priest just becomes the new demon hunter? <laughs> I feel like that's what, that's what a lot of people are worried about. I don't think it's gonna get that bad. It could. It seemed like everybody was, you know, like everyone was on point saying that Demon Hunter was going to be way too good. And they were right. I wonder. Let's see, draw two, go to eight cards, play a card, go to seven. Next turn, draw a card. Oh, wait, but I'm getting a card added to my hand. Wait, hold on a minute. So draw two, six to seven, then this goes to eight, then nine off the draw. So I should just play the pip now and before playing the, the scale replica. Because it's also bored. I get another card from this. I've got plenty of dragons now. Like, we've got the dragon wing condition. We just need to kill them now. So the question becomes, how do we kill them? Oh, by an hour? Okay, then yeah, I mega missed it. <laughs> I got distracted by the raid. I don't know what to say. <laughs> very, very obvious distraction, you know? Zeremia is really easy to nerf, though, if it becomes a problem. I mean... I... <laughs> I'm gonna tell you how they're gonna nerf it, dude. Hold on a minute. I gotta I got pull up one of my reply tweets. So, Zeddy ended up making a tweet talking about how he doesn't like uh, Zarimi because it's not only really good and, uh, and standard, but it's Omega Nuts and Wild too, apparently. Uh, but yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I can't wait for this card to be if you've summoned six other dragons, take an extra turn. That's what's gonna happen if they're gonna nerf this card, dude. They're just gonna proc it up by one. They're gonna see if that solves it, and then when that doesn't solve the problem, they'll nerf it again. Maybe it'll be seven man. Uh, maybe it'll be seven dragons. Maybe it'll be six mana. Like this. This is how they nerf cards now. And I can't wait to reference that tweet when they eventually do nerf Zarimi to six dragons. And I'll be like, never question me ever again. I know how. I know how these people think. <laughs> I have been here long enough in order to bridge the uh the common occurrences you know it's 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 not hard this stuff <laughs> what's wrong in that nerf i mean it doesn't feel like it's going to address the problem is the pro is is what i'm worried about like you need one more dragon which could make a difference but sometimes one more dragon really doesn't affect how the card is going to function the only thing it's meaningfully going to be is a nerf to how quickly you can play the zarimi which is a nerf you know if it's so much harder to play it on turn five then maybe, maybe it'll nerf the card, you know? 
but ultimately I don't feel like it addresses the problem and all it does is just make, you know, more historic nerfs, you know? Oh man, this isn't the right car because I got the wrong text. Like, I, as a content creator, you know, that's, that's a very, you know, small world issue. But it's still an issue I have to worry about. But that's not the reason why I don't want the cart nerfed. It's just a funny little joke. Alrighty, well. Just do this, I guess. Reduce the amount of times that you can play the effect by game. <laughs> yeah, zero, zero times. You can only play this effect zero times per game. Zeremi is now just a five mana four six minion. Battle cry literally do nothing. You know, how funny would that be? What if there was a card that literally had battle cry like literally do nothing? Kind of similar to like how Scourge uh Scourge Raider was a 5-4 battle cry die. It'd be kind of funny if there was a card that just said battle cry literally do nothing. Battle cry don't. <laughs> boomers would be in shambles why would boomers be in shambles it doesn't reduce the apm wait we don't copy the pip do we what bro can you imagine means? copying the pip wait a minute is copy is, is the only reason i want to copy pip is because i'm about to get one mana thirsty drifters and then i get more cards anyway and it's just more shit to pressure what with somebody means? talk me out of it if it's not the play please because i'm about to do it Low key, you know, you know, actually, it doesn't make sense. No, if the whole reason to do it is to get another drifter. I should just, get, I should just copy another drifter. No, no, we gotta be smart. Nerf Zerini by making her activate with beasts instead. Problem Starting blem solve kappa. <laughs> okay, okay, I think I like this a little bit more. We could just save this for the drifter when we need it, or I could potentially use it with the worm. But it's like, something I'm thinking about is I've got Zerimi with this that I could easily do next turn. If this board sticks, it's just lethal, right? Yeah, exactly. I can literally just copy the thirsty drifter. Like this would have been good if pushing more boars and fighting for more tempo over more turns was the line. But in this matchup where I could literally just end the game next turn, like, we should just end the game. So this is 8, if you think about it. 8 plus another 8, 16. 16, 21. 21, 22. It's GG if he doesn't kill more board or heal. Oh! <laughs> Man! Oh, what a bitch! <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Wait, so this is lethal now. Right? Starting the operation. Hmm. Well, that just works too, I guess. Well, that just works too, I guess. And I, I could even done it with Amon Thule buff. Dude, I actually think Worm is infinitely better than Leroy. Like, this this feels super clean, dude. And like, I'm actually having fun playing this deck. Maybe, maybe, maybe having fun playing the deck just means that I'm winning with it. <laughs> it's probably what it means. But it's like, Zerini Priest just seems so uninteresting to me. But the idea of putting in a Razor Scale Putting in the glow worms and putting in the Ignis really does add a different element to the deck now. Like, you could just go later into the game, and it just makes sense. Leroy could be copied by Mr. Amonthul, trigger Zilliax in games where you can play him for OTK combo. I mean, yes, that is true, but if you want to know the difference between Leroy and Glowstone, Glowstone doesn't just have to be used for lethal. It sucks to use Leroy in any other situation, you know? So it just makes it it just makes it a card where you don't need it, you know? At least that that's how I'm thinking about it. Comparing Leroy to how the glowstone feels. Now granted, my I I'm super fucking uneducated about this fucking deck. But as I've been playing this, the like the glowstone just feels better cuz you can fight for mid game plus it's a life steal minion. Life steal go hard, life steal good. Okay. Yeah, Clark plays 10 games of the deck and thinks he knows everything about it now. <laughs> Somebody stop this kid. Ah, uh, he doesn't... He, how do I reach these kids? 
Leroy is also bad against taunt. That's a great way of explaining it too. Also, let's go best possible one drop. Nothing like a one mana two three add a one two to your hand, right? Don't say I spend a coin on it. It's 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 one mana now. It's a priest one mana card. Oh damn it. Okay. Well. Okay, that is true. I did miss the point about how it helps activate the Zilliax, which is true. That is a good point. This is not Zilliax synergy. So that is a point for Leroy. Have to give it to you there. I'm not a monster, okay? I'm just another gamer. Okay, so do we just accept the card draw? Or do we just accept the the mill? Do we just accept the mill? I think the answer is yes, depending on what we draw. Okay, we get another another dragon. Oh, I have an I have an idea. Hey guys, guys, I got a wonderful play. I got a wonderful play. I could play one drop into one drop into uh, funnel cake and then not have the man to play pip. <laughs> or next turn, I can wait to play one drop into one drop into one drop into funnel cake and then I have the mana to play my pip. Doesn't it make sense, guys? Does anybody see the the the, the flaw in that plan at all? Can anybody can anybody point it out to the class in case anyone's confused? <laughs> all right, we're just gonna do this. I'll I'll mill a card. I will just mill a card. It's fine. Okay, this was a solid. Oh, come on. Okay, so am I not supposed to pip there? God damn it, man. So am I, am I not supposed to pip there? What is Elune's Or am I just supposed to be mad that I lost the one in 23? Uh, I think we're just full tempo. So I have to do it this way. So that way I have enough dragons with the Zarimi now. I might be able to set up a turn six lethal. It was just aggressive. Uh, you're justified. Move on now that you got burned for. It. Yeah, I mean, it's it's the risk of the play that we did, right? Like it works as long as our best card doesn't get milled. But at the same time, it's like I could still win. It's not like we can't suddenly win here. Okay, so wait, this is just lethal, isn't it? Maybe he need maybe oh hold on like how okay this did wow wow dude wow like wow wow man this deck is so free what the hell Pip Pip was correct who cares about Zilliax okay so this card has such a high kept win rate. But I, I, okay, am I ever supposed to keep this card in the mulligan? I always toss it. And the only reason why I feel like I, I, I only keep it with funnel cake or with pip. I'm gonna use a code to describe my next words. You know, we could start playing Casino Priest if you want me to do that. Is that what you're gonna do? You're gonna send me a deck code trying to gaslight me to play a new deck? <laughs> or do you mean like code isn't like a coded message? It's like Ice Block and Wind Fury in one. It, I mean... Kinda. It's a counterplay to Ice Block. Is that why? Is that why? Uh, <laughs> it's so good and wild. Well, now. I've been kind of enjoying the game that shall not be named, but I'm way too scared to play it on stream as I don't want to be associated with the Illuminati. Wait, you're actually enjoying the game? I mean, hey, dude, if you enjoy it, play it. Like, I'm not gonna lie, dude. Like, part of me wants that game to be good. And the only reason why I want it to be good is because then all these people can finally say, hey, I'm not a scammer. <laughs> I started playing in a month before all the Twitter stuff. All right, so Micaiah, I I'm going to go ahead and just rip off the, the veil here. He's talking about playing parallel. And here's something I'm going to say. I am going to actually play parallel. And I have a plan on how I'm going to do it. And I'm not going to tell you guys my plan, though. I'm going to be super fucking sneaky about it. And only people that watch my stream are gonna know that I'm even doing this until I eventually make the video about it. But I've got a plan on how I'm gonna play parallel. And I have a plan on how I'm gonna figure out 
if all these streamers are, you know, actually foreseeing into the future for something that's meaningful, or if they're literally, it's if this is just another example of people just being paid off. You know, I, I will I will do the honest to God work that needs to be done to cover a topic like this. And I've got I've got a plan. All right, I got a plan. But trust me, it's not gonna, it's not going to be some half baked concoction of a plan. Okay, I got a real idea on how to be as non biased as possible when covering the game. From what I can tell, uh, you can play it without engaging with any of it. I mean, yeah, it's like the big selling point. That's like one of the big selling points. But why do they want you to do that? It doesn't make sense. Why do they want you to do that? Is it because they want the game to be good? Or is there something else behind it? Unfortunately for me, I'm thinking there's something else behind it. But I, this, this is just, you know, this is just me shooting the shit right now. Being like, hmm, how do they, how do they, how do they do it? We'll talk about it when it's relevant, but I just wanted to put that out there. That I am I am intrigued by the game, not because I think it's gonna be good, but because I feel like there's like a bigger mystery behind it. The question is, what is behind it? Am I am I just gaslighting myself? Am I falling for Twitter drama? Which probably might actually end up being what fucking happens. It's just another way that we fell into the drama and 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 the, and the whole thing was just to not talk about it, you know? But yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about it. I've got an idea on how to cover it, but I need time in order to prepare it. I think that would still require Clark to remember doing it. I remember uh, I mentioned it to him a while ago in February when he was still wondering why Nature Shaman stats were non-existent. Yeah, I just I, I keep I keep telling myself I'm gonna do it, and then I get myself in the position to do it, and then I fucking forget. That's that's literally how that goes. I tell myself I'm gonna do it, and then yeah, mystery equal Bitcoin miner into the mines we go. Do I just tempo king all the cards? I mean, I'm against the rogue. Why not just do it? Doesn't this just kind of screw him over? Wait a minute. It low-key kind of screws me over too, but it's like he can't do shit to deal with this. Maybe I just make this as large as I can. Wait a minute. If younger people would buy and invest in property, and that, yeah, that, that's what they should be investing in, but at the same time, they quite literally can't. You want you want to know what I believe it is? It's 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 a way that people think they can afford housing. At this point, I'm gonna have to mint my house on the blockchain in order to afford a house. <laughs> That's why we, uh, wait. I mean, why have yet, although, uh, tool drive, th oh, wait, wait, drive traffic to you? Wait, what? I mean, why have yet, although, tool to drive traffic to you? I do not understand what you mean by that. <laughs> I thought for a second I was just tired while reading that statement, but it turns out that statement is kind of confusing. I think blockchain online car collectible card games kind of have merit because it gives you actual ownership over the cards. The early adopters are likely a scams though. Well, here's the thing. Here's, here's my problem with that. And this is me thinking with my tinfoil hat because I, again, I look at this stuff and I don't trust it. You know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking worst case scenario and I'll gladly admit that. I feel like a lot of people do that with this kind of stuff. What if the cards are just a way of selling you NFTs and they go up with value and the whole point is just a rug pull from the very beginning, giving you all this shit because you want to play the game and now you're and now you're eating the uh, eating the costs as the people that were there from the very beginning are now cashing out on it. Very legitimate claim. And that's why I like the claim that, you know, you don't have to be involved in crypto with parallel susses me the fuck out. Like what? Like that is a main selling point. But the whole, then why have the game on the blockchain if you don't need to be a part of the blockchain? That susses me out. Something's not adding up. And it is a little bit that I don't understand what I'm looking at, but that that's sussy to me. Something don't add up here. <laughs> okay, so is this lethal? No, it's not. I mean, it actually might be lethal. Hold on a minute. And if it's not, then I just slap the razor scale. It's not lethal, so I should just tempo king. Light sings, and the impure fall. This is actually hilarious how good this is against Rogue. <laughs> Clark spends 600 bucks a week on fast food. If he saved that money for one year, he'd be able to own property. Yeah, yeah, because that's the problem. 
Yeah, that's a hundred percent the problem. It's not the fact that housing has increased by you know freaking eighty. Or, or, I don't even know what the, what the what the number is. It's like eight thousand fucking ridiculous percent. Houses used to cost like ten thousand dollars. Now you need like at least ten thousand dollars to buy a loan. I, I don't know anything about housing, but the prices are fucking ridiculous now, dude. No sane individual will look at these prices and be like, "Oh yes, attainable." <laughs> Wait, the file. Yo, what? What a what a gamer. Wait a minute, what? Why voluntarily take the damage? Do you guys believe? <laughs> do we do we fucking believe, dude? Come on, come on, come on! One time, one time. Let me see it. He Wait, Hemet? No, these are all bad. Might as well just take the draw. God damn it, dude. I'm so disappointed. I wanted one thing. I wanted one thing today. And that was the high roll with the, oh, there. Yep, there, there, there she be. There, there she goes. The mal order, I guess. Starting the operation. All right, fine. Fine, dude. Why didn't we finale it? Because we couldn't. I drew it after I got the Frost Lotus from this. There was no way to have drawn the card. And if I would have finaled this, then I would have gotten this card in my hand and then not have the mana to play it. So why would I ever finale this? Can your nuts like it's actually kind of funny. This guy kept him alive. <laughs> Let's see if we can turn it around somehow. A blockchain MMO could be interesting if you could make every single item in the game a unique one. That'd be very difficult to do. And that's another thing. I feel like these games are coming out like not even half cooked, but like a quarter percent cooked. And then they can just hide behind the veil of, oh, we're working on it. That's another thing. Like, if this game is supposed to be the future, then it should be good now. And, like, very attainable, like, understanding, oh, shit. I can understand why someone thinks it's a good game. But it's just, there's a lot of veils to hide behind. And that's why it susses me out. Okay, dude, this Eye of Shadow is legitimately making a comeback. Do I just have to do this and just roll the worm? Because I can quick draw it. I think that's the way to go. And then if I need to rely on, on Velarog, I can get there. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Dude, I'm on fire with this deck right now. But may, again, it might be the quality of opponents that I'm fighting up against. And the fact that this deck was made by a literal Grandmaster. But, uh, yeah. Seems pretty good, man. Scale's got a pretty high capped weight. But at the same time, if, um... I'd rather just try to go for the Wrangler. Against Mage. I guess Mage. I have a lot of time, though. I guess we just do this because because it guarantees the Zerimi and I don't have to keep it. Reality. Clark Makai Makai sliding into Clark's DMs. May, 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 just just a, just a little bit. Just a wee bit. Any problem. I have five properties, uh, four in California, one in Nevada. Ducks, if that's the truth, then let me live in your Cal in your in one of your California properties. Cause if you've got if you got five properties, then clearly you can give one up, right? I mean that's just simple math if you think about it. And I and I've and I've worked hard for it by doing absolutely nothing. But think about it, bro. I could use that as a studio. You could get a cut of my of, of my revenue. We'll talk percentages. <laughs> nah, nah. I, I, I wouldn't want to give up my revenue. I, I, I'm I'm already <laughs> I'm already giving uh. A lot of money to my editor so that that takes a large chunk out of how much money i do make from from content but he earns it he makes the content he deserves a cut from the pie um just do this for the ignis what? sure i've got plenty of time in this matchup and that's like the one way i don't really know how to play this deck yet is like oh shit, suddenly i win because i just was really patient but armor is kind of problematic in this matchup. That's why I feel like I might need to play this and knock this out. I inherited it from my mom. The rent alone is paying my bills. No one can do Mr. Ah, I see. The, the true way of owning property in 2024. <laughs> you, you, get, you gotta inherit it from somebody because it, it's either that or you need to inherit the money in order to buy the house. <laughs> that's, that's, that's where we are now. I'm glad, I'm glad that you got a, a house though, man. Let alone fucking five. Holy shit. Don't be patient versus mage, in my opinion. I mean, I gotta. I mean, there's nothing else I can. I can do though. 
I, I don't want to be patient. This, this is the road that's been chosen, though. I mean, this is this is not the aggro hand. My girlfriend and I got hella help from the parents to pay our deposit. Yep, that's how it is now, dude. It's again the 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 the, the, the price of a house has gone up dramatically because it's the it's it's literally it's better than money owning property. Owning property is literally more powerful than than having money, and that's kind of crazy if you think about it. Is getting your aunt's house, uh, let's say she's living in now, her kids. Yeah, definitely her kids, not me. I mean, for, okay, I don't, I don't like this conversation of you being like, hey, Clark, if you weasel your way into your, uh, to your relative's will, so you're gonna get the, their house when they die. It's like, no, dude. Like, I, I, that's not even what happened to my grandma's house. My grandma's house got sold for the estate. And that's gonna, that's gonna be what happens to my grandpa's house on my other side of the family when he passes away. And honestly, he's gonna be moving out of his house very soon. No one's getting that house because no one wants to pay the property taxes on it. And also, I don't want to live in uh, in Richmond, Indiana. So that doesn't sound very great. If you think Indianapolis sucks, I'll tell you right now, Richmond's a fucking shit hole. Oh my god. Uh, it, is, it is not good there. The hell am I supposed to do here, man? Just play the dragons, probably? Starting the operation. Starting the operation. I don't fucking know, dude. If only everyone was smart enough to be born into rich parents so they could invest in property. Yep, yep, yep. That's how that goes. How, that's that song and number. How were you able to save enough money in order to buy all your property? Oh, it turns out that my dad gave me a loan of... Oh, okay. All right, I understand. I, I understand. I was just asking Clark. I thought the house was yours. No, it's not mine. Not at all. Dude, okay, bro, hold on. If you thought the house was mine... Why would I be in the studio apartment? <laughs> Why would I be in the studio apartment if I had access to a house? <laughs> I have a room, a place to shit, and a place to make the shit, the, the stuff that I end up shitting out. Well, well, welcome welcome to, uh, to living in America if you're not in a house. You at least got one room, right? Yeah, I got this room. Yay. <laughs> You know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need space to stretch my legs or anything. It's fine. I'll, I'll manage. <laughs> what is in? Oh my god, head? this matchup sucks, dude. I want to maintain the eighty percent. So I have Razor Scale now. If I want to play Zarimi next turn, I need to play the Whelp Wrangler. Which probably needs to happen. Don't think, just murder them. But how do I murder them? I have to think about how I murder them. If I don't think about it, then I know that I'm not. Uh, then I know that. Uh... <laughs> if I don't think about how to murder, okay, hold on. This is good. This is a really dark joke I'm trying to make. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna talk about the process of being a serial killer. <laughs> Uh, maybe maybe we don't go into that bit. Maybe maybe we just play. It. Maybe we just chill. <laughs> Let's not say something we're gonna regret. Yeah, there we go. Hit him very hard. Yeah, the cart the cartoon murder. Wait a minute. Oh my God! Wait. Hey yo, dude. Call it Tempo King. So that's just lethal, right? 24. Okay, so there is a theoretical lethal here. Trade this into here. One mana weapon. Wind Fury Battle Cry deal two. Mm -hmm. But we honestly should just try to trade for the Glowstone, right? Patch you up. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have the HP. Oh, fuck. You're right. Oh, balls. God damn it. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't kill. Ah. Uh. So we just got to send it then. Well, that's unfortunate. We can't, we can't play the Ignis because we have no way of killing a minion. Everything has four HP. 
Was I supposed to trade the minion beforehand? Aw, oh, dude. But then I wouldn't have had the lethal anyway with Ignis. Now he's freezing me. Oh, this is a nightmare. This is actually a nightmare, dude. Why? Why? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Should I try to save the board? Is it even worth it? It would still be a 33% out. I mean, hey, the 33% out is better than zero. <laughs> pretty, pretty sound logic I'm using there, right? I wonder. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it this way. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna heal these guys, because odds are I might just end up doing this or playing this for the weapon. All right, Ignis, I, I, I need to believe. All right, Ignis, deal four. Entire board is gonna die now. Ignis, five mana, deal four. Uh, Wind Fury, summon minions could potentially get there because I got some of a free bird, right? Technically speaking. Is there ever a time to just throw out the Razor Scale? There's no way this guy's playing a Reno deck, right? No, no way, no way. Why is ETC there? Why is this here? This confuses me. All right, come on, Agnes. I believe in you. I believe in the boy. Okay, Wind Fury also just gets it done. Oh, there we go, we Omega did it. Got him. Whew. This is kind of crazy, dude. I haven't had a climb this good, like I think in the entirety of this expansion. Hey, hey, Yugi, look at this blue eyes white dragon I mentioned onto the blockchain. <laughs> it's the future, Yugi, you just have to believe. Remember how I made dual discs, Yugi? Just believe. <laughs> oh shit. Well, okay. All right, I guess I'm keeping this hand. Sorry, the timer didn't pop up, dude. Gotta buff this razor scale though. My Hearthstone crashes all the time. It, it happens from time to time. I think what happens is like, sometimes if you queue into an opponent that like automatically, like if they like cut out of the game or something, like if they disconnect or something while trying to play a game, it disconnects the other player connecting into them or something. I don't know. It's weird how it works sometimes. Yu-Gi-Oh where the villains are crypto bros and all, <laughs> all the cards are NFTs. Uh, that'd, be, that'd be a funny YouTube uh, parody for somebody to make. That's not me and is more talented at drawing than I am. Like, I'm good at- I'm pretty decent at drawing, honestly. I mean, I, my, I think some of my art speaks for itself. But... I'm not- I wouldn't be good at animating. I don't think- I don't think I'd be very good at animating, personally. That's why I never got into it. Just... Yeah, yeah I'm gonna mint the gyre worm. Oh my god, I'm ruining Hearthstone. Stop ruining Hearthstone, Clark Hellscream. Alright, here we go. I, I think I, I think I have learned this deck today, guys. My grandpa's portfolio has no rebels. <laughs> oh my god, this is, too, this is too good. This is too stupid. It's all fun and games until they announce Hearthstone 2. Yeah, like the, what they did with Overwatch. <laughs> so this is just Insta Zilliax, right? Imagine playing Razor Scale. Starting the operation. So this is the order to do this in. Next turn we can do this into this and I think it actually locks him out, right? 3-5 is kind of hard to deal with. And then if I value trade into everything, as long as he doesn't zilliax me back. Ooh, that's kind of good. Don't, don't zilliax me, bro. He doesn't power cord the zilliax! Oh, you idiot, bro! Oh, hold on, how do you not take it there? How do you not take it there, bro? Patch you up. Insignificant. It's cute, he's thinking. I'm channeling my inner insane right now. Ooh. He hasn't played enough dragons though. And now with the Razor Scale, they're two mana one twos. <laughs> All right, rip Zilliax. Maybe it wasn't supposed to weaken the Zilliax there. They can't make Hearthstone five e five, so they'll reduce the deck slots back to nine. Why do why why do you need all those deck slots, man? 
Why do you need all those, all those deck slots, kid? This song does bring back memories, though. I'm not gonna lie, man. Like, I, I, I've been like actually debating about like games that I should play on stream, and I've got a couple of ideas. I've already talked with Hat about this, but Ridiculous Hat and I have talked about the possibility of doing a video collab where the title of the video would be something like Hearthstoners Play Hades. But I would have to do, I would have to play Hades myself for the first time. Hat said that I have to do my homework, you know? But what if we were to make a stream or do a video, or most likely it'd be a video, a video recording, because streams are more hectic. But I'm thinking about making a video with Hat where we talk about Hades and like, I kind of just like, we just essentially just play Hades, talk about how much we love it. And Hearthstone players can get used to hearing about it because it's a really good game what? from what I hear. It's a very good game. Do I ever just like surge in into coin clergy? Like a 1 4 clergy? It feels kind of bad. We also could just coin the scale. I think I'm just going to coin scale. Even a hat isn't playing Hearthstone anymore, so sad. Dude, if, if, by, if by some unspeakable accident that will hopefully never happen because I will hate the Lord uh, if it ever happens. But if, if hat were to, were to not play Hearthstone anymore or to be fired from Hearthstone, I would not be surprised if Hades becomes his most, pop, most played new game. If it's not already. Hat loves Hades. Like when he, when he heard that I hadn't played it, he's like, wait, what? You've never played it? That's a problem. We gotta, we gotta fix that. We gotta, we, gotta, we, gotta, we gotta fix that. I can't play this because then this will just value trade into it. Ah, dude. I'm sad. Hat's reaction is pretty much uh, my reaction to that statement. <laughs> Hades, Hades 2 gonna go hard. <laughs> Hades is incredible. Probably my top five for most enjoyable games for the first playthrough. Damn, I've really got to experience it now. Ah, God, I hate this. I just got a Tempo King because I got to get rid of cards. Favorite Hearthstone deck of this meta? Uh, still probably Nature Shaman. I, I'm, I'm degenerate, I know. I'm, I'm the worst part of Hearthstone. I'm absolute, I'm, I'm the problem. I know, I know. I, 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 I won't stop hearing it in the YouTube comments. Ex wait, wait, hold on a minute. Vanaga Demon Hunter players call me scum and a piece of shit? Bro, don't you even start with me. Don't you even start with me, bro. My my deck hasn't gotten nerfed like your deck has. I, I don't think I don't think you're allowed to I don't think you're allowed to say anything. You bet your ass I am? Alright, well then you need to check your privilege. <laughs> you need to check your Hearthstone privilege, my guy, because you are omega incorrect. I would sooner sympathize with a nature shaman player if I I would soon okay no I would rather sooner sympathize with a control warrior player as a nature shaman main than deal with a naga demon hunter giving me shit about what to play and what scum to play oh my god you're literally the worst <laughs> really Clark comparing deck isn't that a bit juvenile bro you're telling me you've never compared deck sizes before hold on a minute what <laughs> My deck size is 40. What about yours? Yours is only 30, isn't it? God forbid you play the fizzle or the the whiz bang deck and have a deck of 20 cards. Oh, it's so small, dude. That's right. I'm 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 shaving the size of your deck now. There are pills for this now. Wait, what? <laughs> if only there was a pill card in Hearthstone. Is there's got to be a pill card in Hearthstone, right? So that way that joke can make sense. Uh. Friggin' demon hunters, man. That's not worth it right now. Casually ignore that Master Tours around Shaman shake my head. I mean, it is, but Demon Hunter is also there. Demon Hunter is literally... Okay, everybody but one person brought Demon Hunter. Not everybody, not everyone brought Naga, but... It's looking shit? Yes, because the entire field is actively trying to counter Demon Hunter. It's so pop, it's so good that it warps the meta that you have to counter it. That says everything that you need to say. If that's what you're, if you're saying that not, that Demon Hunter stats are really good in, the, in the, uh, the Master's Tour. Speaker Stoppers to counter Demon Hunter. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the archetypes brought. 
I'm talking about the actual archetypes brought. Fuck, I didn't get... Something for Death Rattle. It's probably dumb to play this anyway. Like, yeah, there are some people that are teching their decks against it. Like, Shaman is, is warping the meta. I'm not disagreeing with you there. But in terms of what was brought to the Masters Tour, everybody but one person brought Demon Hunter, and the one person who didn't bring it is actively countering it. Everything is around the Shaman. That's not true. That's 100% not true. Like, Shaman is definitely very prevalent. That is true, but not everything is around Shaman. Like, Molsar, for example, I don't think his... I mean, his lineup does good into Shaman. It can do good into Shaman, but it's mostly trying to fuck Demon Hunter. Okay, so this is at least something to help me live. Starting the operation. We've created a temporal anomaly. Starting We're looking pretty screwed here. Two dragons. Ugh... We also just a lot of people are just playing to ban Demon Hunter. There's also that. That's why it looks like Shaman is ruling everything. But Demon Hunter is pulling the strings from the shadows. And I'm not even pulling the strings from the shadows. It just is pulling the strings. The archetype that counters it is uh, Death Knight and one guy has it. That's not how you counter Shaman. You counter Shaman by playing Warrior. Like you can have Warrior and, and Death Knight. Well, hold on. Does Death Knight even counter Shaman? Is Death Knight doesn't even really counter Shaman. And only two people brought Death Knight anyway, so. Rekvam uh, even said himself, uh, one mistake he made was thinking more people wouldn't ban Demon Hunter and would try to counter it instead. A lot of people have been leaving up Demon Hunter, yeah. Like again, that was that was the strategy for, uh, for Molstar. That was very obvious with his lineup. I cannot do that. Illidan is the great puppet master than Punk Bitch. Yeah, well, Punk Bitch is falling behind now. In fact, is he still grinding? Yeah, dude, he's, he's going down while we're going up. My stonks are so high right now. Every single deck is running stompers. Don't think it's pulling any strings. No, that's not what I'm talking about, dude. That's not what I'm talking about. So the archetypes that you are bringing... The, okay, the archetypes that you are bringing are all archetypes that are either good into Demon Hunter or, go or good into these other uh, these other decks. But the way that you make your deck good into Shaman is by teching it with Stompers. The archetypes that you're bringing are somewhat good into Shaman, but most of the lineups that I feel like that people brought were to target Demon Hunter or to be good against it. Like, hmm. beating Shaman is a goal that a lot of people had. I'm not disagreeing with that. But I would argue that the archetypes that people brought were more influenced by Demon Hunter and the tech decisions and the cards they ran in those decks were influenced by Shaman. And I believe if we're talking about which one is technically more swaying of the meta, choosing your archetypes is by far the most warping quality of a powerful deck. That is my case. What is your uh, proposition, sir? That is what I would like to say. With gusto. <laughs> Aren't stompers also techs against warriors? They kind of are. Uh, especially for the for the warlock. <laughs> Freaking what? Micaiah, chill, bro. It's not it's not that big of a deal, is it? Starting the operation. I think I'm gonna do this to protect the board. Alright. Sorry, I meant to keep that one in my head. You should have kept that one in your hand, bro. Ha! Got him. Like, like his, like his head. Uh, okay, okay, we get it. We get it. Yo, woo! Oh, buddy. Oh, you what? Mm. Whoo! Oh man. Oh, that's 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 pretty funny. It's hilarious, actually. Looking pretty good, dude. Be merciful, just give him the old dick twist. <laughs> dick him, then twist him. <laughs> threads incoming? Ah, if threads happens, threads happens. Yo, I mean, I feel like he needs something else other than threads. Oh, wait, no, threads and hero power just fucking clears. Wait, I should have probably not played the whelp. Now that I do not care about, right? Oh my god, kill the one-two, please. <laughs> 
<laughs> you fool! You fool, said Okaiba. All right, it's looking like it's done. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at pretty Dunzo here. My ears, Clark. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I couldn't help it. I, I had, I had to reference the, uh, the great Gilbert Gottfried. Okay, I had, I had to do it. <laughs> you fool! Looking pretty dead here, bro. Looking pretty dead. It looks like death is on the menu, and you are also on the menu. You're, de you're dead. You're, the point is, you're going to die. A very painful death. Wait. Yeah, this works. Duh. Hooey! Hourglass. That's how much time is left before everybody uninstalls this, this, this game. <laughs> the hourglass of when people will uninstall. Dude, this deck is cracked.